energy is everything, isn't it? But how do we turn that dark energy, that negative energy into light? Hey, David Essel here with the podcast, David Essel Alive, helping Americans and the world to heal on buzzsprout.com. And we bring up messages all the time to give you an idea of how to move from where you are to where you really want to be uh, 35 years now. In the world of broadcasting, TV, radio, podcast, 43 years in the world of counseling, executive coaching. And this is a really cool topic to me. I think it's amazing because most of us want more light. Most of us want more joy, more peace, more happiness, more everything that has to do with lightness, right? And then most of us want less of the darkness. The darkness is insecurity, depression, anxiety, anger, rage, resentment, et cetera, et cetera, lack of hope. I mean, these are things, a trauma that we need to overcome. This is all darkness, you know? And so how is it that we manage and balance this darkness and light? I have the coolest story to share with you, and it's uh, from the Kabbalah, the mystical arm of Judaism. There was a woman, and I haven't spoken to her a number of years, Caroline Ravello, who used to teach a course on Kabbalah. I forget if it was eight weeks long or something like that, but I remember the first time I took it, I go, oh my God, this is the kind of stuff I just love. And so I, I took the full eight or 10 weeks, and I went back again and took it again, because there was this portion I'm gonna share with you today that touched me so deeply, I have been using it in my counseling and executive coaching uh, and sports psychology coaching program for many, many years. I mean, well over 30 years that I have been using this. So what we believe in the world of the Kabbalah is that human beings are filled 100% right now with both darkness and light. Now, darkness is that mm, negativity. Uh, it's the chaos arguing. It's the conspiracy theory nonsense. It's the, all of that kind of stuff is looked at as darkness. Insecurity, anger, rage, resentment, anxiety, uh, procrastination. One of the largest addictions that's just destroying this world right now. Maybe you're a part of it. You know, um, there's all that kind of darkness, jealousy, um, envy, gossiping, all of this kind of crap is darkness. And I can even expand it and say, if you're a regular watcher of the news, you're watching darkness. If you're a regular watcher of, of political programs that all they do is argue, you're involved with darkness. You know, so watch the Minions, for God's sake. <laughs> the Minions movies are filled with light, okay? So you see the difference? Am I going to watch this news broadcast or the Minions? Are you kidding me? If you're trying to get rid of darkness, you go right to the Minions. And as a matter of fact, you wear yellow while you're watching the movie. And if you know the Minions movie, you know why I just said that, okay? But we want to get rid of it. And so in the Kabbalah, they say this. You are 100% filled with both darkness and light. Some of you may be 80% light and 20% darkness. Some of you might be 20% darkness and 80% light. There's no way that anyone can tell you your exact percentage, but it's pretty easy to look around you. Who do you hang out with? And if they're filled with a lot of negativity and gossip and all that kind of crap, you're filled with the same thing. What are you watching? If you're watching some of those things I just mentioned, guess what? You probably have more darkness than you think. What are you reading? If you're reading conspiracy things and all that kind of crap, you're probably filled with more darkness than you think, quite frankly. And I'm not judging a darn person. If you enjoy being negative, if you enjoy conspiracy talk, if you enjoy arguing over politics, I guess go for it. But it's all darkness because there's nothing that comes from the joyful exchange of arguments. <laughs> you may walk away thinking you won, but it doesn't matter if you won because you probably lost so much emotional energy and so much of your good news thinking that you're going to lose even if you win the argument. So in Kabbalah, they say this, imagine that you're in the shower because right now, until you do the next thing I'm going to tell you of how to shift your darkness to light, right now, you haven't done a thing because I haven't told you what to do. You're standing in the shower. The water is hitting your head. Is it going inside your brain? Is it going inside your skull? Of course, the answer is no, David. It couldn't get inside my brain. And until you remove some of your darkness, it's the same thing about positive thinking and affirmations and vision boards and all of those kind of things that we hopefully are going to bring us to the next level of being a millionaire or, you know, a size eight if you're a size 18 or whatever it is. But it's never going to work. Why? Because there's no room for more light 
until you remove darkness. And that's the secret that I'm here to share with you right now, straight from the Kabbalah. They make it so clear. Until you remove part of your greed, part of your insecurity, part of your anger, part of your rage, part of your fill in the blank, until you remove part of that darkness, there is no room for more light. You know, people have it wrong, right? Like they, I'm going to read the next motivational book. I'm going to go to the next seven day intensive. I'm going to go and it's all positive crap. But if you don't remove the insecurity, the low self-confidence, the low self-esteem, the judgment of others, if you don't remove the darkness, that light ain't staying. That's why we say to people, hey, if you're going to go to a weekend intensive or a 10 day intensive with some superstar in the world of personal growth, go have a blast, have fun. But if you don't come back with a plan and a coach or a counselor or a therapist to hold you accountable for what you learned during that three or seven or 10 day intensive, throw it out the window. Because in about six or seven days, you're gonna be back to your old self. See, that old self is that darkness that we need to remove, you know? So here it is, step one. You wanna change your energy? You wanna change the way that you are looked at by the world? You wanna change your body language? You wanna change and decrease the aging on your face? Get rid of some darkness. Maybe it's an addiction and you're going, no, you know, I'm doing great. And also, oh my God, David just said addiction. I'm addicted to procrastination. I'm addicted to food. I'm addicted to alcohol, pot, nicotine, heroin, whatever the hell it is. It's all darkness. I'm addicted to news. It's darkness. So I'm giving you a breakaway right now. This is how you move to the next level in life. You don't worry about how much positive crap you're reading. It's fine. Read all the positive stuff you want but focus on what you need to release and ask for help in releasing that darkness. And then you know what happens next? As you let go a portion of that darkness and you bring in a portion of the light, and then you let go another portion of the darkness and a larger portion of the light and another piece of the darkness. And then all of a sudden, all you are is light. I'm David Essel. If you go to our book, our, our uh, website right now, we have three books absolutely for free to help you get rid of darkness and bring in more light. Go there right now. Talkdavid.com. Get the three books absolutely for free. And they, all of them, have information in there that can bring in the light and let go of the darkness. It's worth the work. If I can help you at all, go to talkdavid.com. You're listening to David Essel on Buzzsprouts, the most positive podcast in the galaxy. Until next time, have a beautiful day.